This right here is one of my giant tubs of agar, and it's where I've been watching something amazing happen. Mycelium has been defeating mold in the fight for nutrients. Even with such a large tub that's really hard to keep the surface area sterile somehow, the mycelium always ends up winning. And I'm gonna tell you how. Mycelium has natural defense mechanisms that actually give it the upper hand in these situations. It produces its own antimicrobial compounds, basically its own antibiotics. This will kill and suppress other contaminants. On top of that, it secretes enzymes that break down cell walls through mold, kind of like its own digestive system before the contamination can continue to grow. Now, if we look really, really closely right here, we can almost see like little fingers on the outside of the mycelium. That is how mycelium grows. It kind of crawls its way out, giving it the upper hand and making it super aggressive. And this goes for almost all forms of fantastic fungi and mycelium. By studying these tubs, I've actually seen how fast the mycelium actually colonizes and takes over, absorbing the nutrients, leaving almost nothing behind. Once it has a head start, it's game over for most contaminants. And it doesn't stop there. The mycelium forms dense network of hyphae, a physical barrier that blocks mold spores from finding a place to settle and spread. What's even cooler is that the mycelium can sense contamination. When it defeats mold nearby, it ramps up production of its antimicrobial compounds, creating an even more hostile environment. It's almost like it's creating its own chemical warfare. Even with such a large surface area to maintain the conditions that I've created inside of this container, like proper temperature and reduced airflow, a favor for the mycelium. Once it gets established, it's almost impossible for the mold to take over, and this will continue to fully colonize and will share all of it with you. So why does the mycelium win? It's really a combination of natural defense, rapid nutrient absorption, physical barriers, and chemical strategies. That is freaking amazing. Watching it dominate this contamination, this is one of the many reasons I love mycology and mother nature and all the potential. This is going on around us all the time. If you've seen this happen in your own setup, or you just wanna learn more, let me know in the comments below. And definitely check out my classes on Patreon. It's just full send organics. The learning never stops and the possibilities are endless. And I'm definitely excited to share more with you guys because over the past 15 years, I have learned so much from doing experiments like this at home. Much love.